Hi. Why? Where do you keep a seven metre tennis racket, Stefan? Rebecca. You up this particular racket here in Warwick and that's where we are. We're in Warwick uh, on Sunday. Uh, last night uh, Queensland was represented in the women's doubles final uh, by Barty um, and didn't find, get through to the finals unfortunately but uh, that's the game of tennis. And so what we've got here from Donna and Wayne uh, Henman is a gift to Queensland Tennis Museum. Um, and the only request that they had is that we had to try and find out who E. Davison was because this was a Christmas gift in 1933, uh, 60 years after Wimbledon was set up. What's a uh, place in tennis? You know, there are two things you need for a good game of tennis. Two people, a tennis ball, a sturdy net, and of course, a seven metre tennis racket. Well, that's what you need if you're Stefan. The hairdressing legend has just returned a giant tennis racket that once garnished the Milton Tennis Centre. And Stefan has been looking after that tennis racket for over a decade, apparently. Good evening, Stefan. Hi. Why, where do you keep a seven metre tennis racket, Stefan? Rebecca, you put a smile on my face when you open the program. Today, my partner Rose just moved house, sold her house. She has so many things put away, <laughs> and this, today was the day to kind of find a home for them. Oh, hang on. So you're telling me that Rose is moving, and you've opened up a cupboard and gone, oh, honey, look, there's that giant tennis racket. <laughs> but, it, I mean... By the way, by the way, it's nine metres. It's nearly 50 oh, feet. It's nine metres. Yeah, the, I mean, the head on this thing is the size of a bus. The, the strings on it looks like really thick thick rope. Nearly, nearly quarter of an inch. <laughs> so, so this originally was on the Milton Tennis Centre? Was it kind of like the emblem of the Tennis Centre? Yeah, yeah. When, when our company sponsored the Tennis Open in Queensland, the Queensland Tennis Open, in the 70s it was pretty active. And I went to, to America to Flushy Meadow to see what I could learn to bring back. And I saw some big things big balls and big symbols, but I never saw a big tennis racket. So I thought, well, maybe a big tennis racket would, would do it. So I asked Norton if, if they would let me put a big tennis racket, the biggest one there was, and they laughed. And then when I showed them, and they didn't laugh, and then the rest was history. Okay, so you came up with the concept in the first place. Did you actually have to buy the tennis racket back when the tennis centre was demolished? Well, at that time, nobody thought it would be demolished. And I couldn't buy it back because it was always seven. So then we took that were, and obviously they said that you can have it back. So we put it away. Because so I, knew, I knew someday it will have a home. You are like the best, you are the best kind of hoarder, Stefan. You knew that that tennis racket would come in handy. But don't, don't skip over that key, key point there. You said, I put it away. Where do you put a nine metre tennis racket? Well, you put a 30 foot, nearly 30 foot tennis racket right next door to a 300 foot sky needle. So you're telling me this tennis racket's just been leaning up against your sky needle for a yeah, decade? It's been nearly, it's been, they've been friends, they've been keeping one up a company. <laughs> it's been on the same block of land. And I've been, I, you know, I've been looking after one another. Yeah, I can't believe that because I've been, I mean, I see the Sky Needle all the time every single night when I drive home and here, here there's been this giant tennis racket in it. What sort of condition is the racket in? Because it's been exposed to some weather then. Yeah, yeah, but it's been restored very well. I mean, we didn't just dump it there. It's painted with two fat paint and it's all, actually it's quite amazing. It's, it's in very good nick. And when it goes to Thru Park, it will be... Perfect. Okay. Up to date, I guess. Yes, well, just explain. So, what is Fru Park and where is, what role is the tennis racket playing? Uh, Fru Park is a park near Melton where, where the racket used to be. 
it's a new centre and it's where people will be able to go and play and barbecue and have a good time and courtesy of our beautiful city. And the uh, tennis racket is going to be the uh, welcoming to be at the gate. While I have this opportunity, I just want to say something. Our Lord Mayor, Grand Quark, is the greatest Lord Mayor in this country. He makes so much effort to make our city better. And he is the reason that tennis racket is finding this new home at Full Park. I love, I love, Stefan, that you've declared him as the greatest Lord Mayor ever. And, and the accolade that goes with that is a, a 30 foot tennis racket. <laughs> <laughs> That's brilliant. What a fantastic story. Stefan. I love that you've held on to this tennis racket all this time and indeed is going to serve a wonderful purpose again. Have you got anything else you want to let us know? Any other giant items that you've got in a cupboard somewhere? Yeah, keep looking at the uh, tennis racket. Keep looking at the sky needle. You may be interested in the background. There's a portrait painted of my husband, Don Cameron, former MP of several seats. And uh, I hope you've enjoyed this episode of Fruit Park YouTube and I know that there'll be uh, many more interesting things coming out of all of this and I'm very proud to be a part of it all. Thank you.